go poof. They can't see me like Houdini Lamborghini. It go poof. They can't see me like Houdini move discreetly. I go poof. They can't see me like Houdini Lamborghini. It go poof. Yellow polka dot bikini with the sea breeze. Hundred proof. First they meet me, then they treat me, then they leave me. I'm like oops. I'm too sneaky, I'm too cheeky, I'm too freaky. They like oof. If you feel me, I'm a sweetie. Don't believe me. It's the truth. They can't see me like Houdini move discreetly. I go boom. They can't see me like Houdini Lamborghini. It go boom. They can't see me like Houdini move discreetly. Let's go boom. They can't see me like Houdini Lamborghini. It go boom. Yo guys and welcome back. So today I'm actually going to do two things in this video. I will do a very briefly uh, deck review, deck review of the. Um, of the first playing card bicycle edition and I will be showing you one card remove so I was posting this short shorts on YouTube and did this card remove and asked if, one, if people wanted to learn and I got some comments back that they would like to learn that so I will be teaching that today pretty much what I'm going to do so before we get into the video, please drop a like, subscribe and hit that notification button, okay? Chris Ramsey, he did make a collab with the bicycle and here is how the deck looks. First, it's the traditional uh, rider back with some of Chris Ramsey's touch. He didn't do much, and he explained why in his video. So you can go check this out and check that out. So basically, you have it's the same as normal, but you have got the first cigar band on the on the back, and you also have. Uh, you have one traditional bicycle joker you have one joker uh, let me just find it that is the first joker with the original bicycle pits in the corner as you can see i don't know if the lights are too long but yeah as you can see and also you will get one blank playing card and one four of spades duplicate I believe the reason why you get the four of spades is because Chris Ramsey's favorite card is the four of spades. And you also get a little bit of a sign element from Chris Ramsey on the ace of spades. You see, you get the cigar band on the uh, gold foil first logo in the middle. I don't know if you can see it there. I guess you can. Yeah. And it's not much more than that you have uh, as you saw the tuck case you have this uh, the first logo going around and also you've got inside printing with the first logo all the way but uh, I not, I'm not sure uh, how they are they feel they doesn't feel they feel actually slightly better than the normal bicycle uh, rider back I would say they feel a little bit yeah, they feel softer, but I don't know. That might just be me, but it feels, yeah, it feels really good, yeah. Then you have, of course, when you fan the deck, you get that nice around, going around the cigar band, so that's, it's beautiful. But it also comes in red edition, so red and blue. Uh, personally, I actually do like the blue the most. So yeah, it's not much more to say about this deck than that, but it, it really do handles amazing. And it's printed by the USPC and yeah, all credits to Chris Ramsey for making this happen. But anyhow, so I was telling you, I was go we're going to teach you guys the cards remove. So we go straight into that 
I'm just going to tilt the camera a bit down. So yeah, I will be teaching you a cardistry move. And it looks a bit like, no, so what I was, will teach, it's, so the move is supposed to be looking like that, a little bit more smooth though, but it's supposed to be looking something like that, okay? So the way you do that, it's pretty fairly easy, but you gotta know how to do a ferro shuffle. To do the ferro shuffle, you do have to try to cut the deck uh, in the middle, like 26, 26 cards here and 26 cards here. Uh, you, with a little bit of practice, you get it pretty good every time. So, something like this, and then I like to do like this, so you don't have any, you don't want to have like a, you don't want to have the deck tilting like that. You want to have them straight here, so I'd like to tap a couple times, and then you find the right pressure. And voila, that was ha happening. You could also actually use your uh, pinky finger to align them. Then you and you can use even the corners like so. I remember when I when I was practicing, I found it much easier to use tilt the corner like so, and use my pinky finger to. So it's all about the pressure, and you will hold a hold like so, and at the bottom here, and I use my pinky to just, but now, actually, now I just put them straight on, and I tilt them a little bit, not that much, but a little bit to that side, and voila, you got that. And when you get that, you're gonna have you want to have it like this, so you have uh, one card over here and at the bottom as well, one card over. Then you just tilt over like so, thumb on there, and you want to have your pinky. No, 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 your um, your pinky down here, and your um, yeah, this finger <laughs> over here, right? So yeah, and those two like so. So it's kind of a actually, it's kind of a Spider-Man grip, right? And then you want to let go with the thumb like so. See, it's hard to do slow. It's very hard to do slow, but you do something along the lines where you get the power shuffle. So that takes some practice, but. Uh, when you get it down, so you want to have the thumb in between the pinky and the index finger. Index finger? I'm not sure. Anyways, like so, like a Spider-Man grip. And you just hold this hand to uh, let the card fall in that hand. And you do, with the thumb, you do like a motion like, just let it up, like so. That was terrible, but you get the drift. So in full speed, it should be looking something like so, right? And you, if you have some cool card, if you have some cool cardistry deck, it, it because of the pattern behind you, it can look really, really satisfying and smooth. So like so, right? But that's pretty much it, actually. So that's how that move is done. Um, I'm not very good at it, but uh, with the but sometimes I make it look very nice, and other times not so much. But the thing is, practice make perfect, and I showed you how it's done, and you can practice it, and you can become very good at it. Uh, personally, I have to admit, I'm not very good at cardistry, but I, I do some moves. Uh, 
like I've told you in this channel before, I'm not very good at magic. I'm like on a very hobby level, so I do it when I have time, when I'm not using my time with my family and kids. So, but I enjoy it and I find it very, uh, I like it a lot. So I practice a little bit and do some magic, but for those of you who are very new to magic, I hope you can find this channel some helpful. So, and if, if it is anything you will like me to teach, just comment in the comment section and I will do it and um, if I can if, if it's a trick or a slide or anything that I know how to do I will teach you uh, so yeah I guess that's about it for this video guys and uh, yeah see you guys on the next one peace